So here's what James says. I heard on a previous episode that what we think of as singularities at the heart of a black hole may not actually exist. But I'm not sure I understood. We know black holes exist, but what does it mean to say the singularities may just be mathematical artifacts? Yeah, good question. As Love well. these. So if you just follow general relativity math, right. the, the, the object collapses under its own weight. Mm -hmm. As it collapses, the gravity on its surface continues to rise. It reaches a point where the gravity on the surface has an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. At that point, light does not escape, but it continues to collapse. When we talk about the size of a black hole, functionally, we're talking about the size of the event horizon. But inside the event horizon, all bets are off. So the matter keeps shrinking. According to the general theory of relativity, the gravity is so severe that nothing can stop it, and it shrinks to zero, zero volume. volume. We all presume that there's some other law of physics that's gonna prevent that, but that calculation is at the limits of the applicability of the general theory of relativity. So that's why we know in advance that the general theory of relativity has limits. We're right. trying to send the math into that singularity to try to resolve that problem. And it's- Because it, if you do, then you reconcile- You reconcile, you reconcile general relativity, general relativity with, with quantum, quantum physics. physics. That's pretty wild. Some people say that's where God divides by zero.